Yo, 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 what is up, Halo community? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So we got some new leaked equipment, and we got some actual gameplay of it, so let's go ahead and see how this looks. Now, of course, shout out to Delta Index for leaking all these equipment here. So the first one we're gonna check out is called the Shroud Screen. Now, this is supposed to be like some kind of uh, smoke grenade. And so the way it works is kind of like the threat sensor, you shoot it, and it makes like this hologram kind of smoke thing um, and it, it's in the form of a bubble so it can be shot through whether you're inside or outside it doesn't matter but uh, yeah pretty interesting I'm not sure how I feel about this personally I would have preferred uh, just like a regular kind of smoke equipment but I guess it does make it fit with uh, Halo Infinite it being like futuristic and all uh, but we'll see how it plays out I don't know could be good for objective modes, kind of like blocking out stuff. But uh, yeah, pretty interesting equipment there. So moving on to the next equipment, we got the Sonar Pulse. And so the way this one works is you shoot it out and it actually bounces. So it's not like the threat sensor where it attaches to like a surface or anything like that. Uh, this one just bounces off everything so it doesn't attach to anything. And it's a one-time scan, so once it scans, uh, you know, that's it. And it also has a larger radius. So it also seems like if they get tagged by the sonar pulse, you can actually see them through walls for a few seconds. And the way it's different is because with the threat sensor, you know, it stays in one place. And if you're outside of the radius, uh, you know, you can't see the person. But with the sonar pulse, if you tag them, uh, you know, you're still going to be able to see them no matter what because they've already been marked. And so, yeah, you'll just be able to see them for a few more seconds. So, personally, I think it's pretty much an improved threat sensor, but uh, the threat sensor can still have its uses because, uh, you know, it stays in place longer. Because it actually attaches to stuff and, it's, and it takes time for it to destroy, unlike this one where it's just like a one-time use. And if you miss and you don't mark someone, then you're screwed. So on to the next equipment here, we got the Gravity Burst, and I actually made a video about this before, but this time it's got a few updated models, you can kind of see the equipment, a little bit of how it looks, and yeah, the way it works is it just kind of boosts stuff up into the air, uh, you know, you shoot it out, and then it just makes a little like kind of gravity lift kind of thing. So moving on to the next one, we got the Stasis Field, and once again, I have made a video on this one, uh, but yeah, this one got a bit... But this one also got updated a bit, and as you can see, you can actually see, like, the circle thing now. Um, and yeah, this kind of just makes, like, a black hole kind of thing. It's really cool. It just sucks pretty much everything in place. Uh, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome, man. Anyways, guys, that's all the new equipment that has gotten leaked so far. Um, I don't know if we're gonna see these equipment anytime soon, at least for some of them. We might see the, uh, Shroud Screen and the Quantum Translocator. Probably next season or season 4, because those seem pretty much finished. Uh, obviously, they need a bit of tuning to it, but those pretty much seem finished. And as for the stasis field and the uh, the gravity burst and the sonar pulse, uh, those are probably not going to come until like season 6 or 5. And with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Consider subscribing and hitting that like button as it shows your support. Uh, helps me out in the algo, and if you want to stay updated with Halo content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.